Bobby Gunn, um, I guess the main question a lot of people, why? Why? Because I need to get back in the ring because if Anderson, if Anderson Silva wins his fight against uh, White, Chris Whiteman, he wants boxing. So I can't come off of a year rest or over a year rest not being in the ring, not being active and fight an athlete like him. So what I want to do is fight a hard-nosed guy. He may not be as much of an athlete, but he's hard-nosed right there in front of you to get the ring rust off. Then I'll be prepared if Anderson does win to give the world what they want because I know the world wants to see that. But you can't go over that off cold turkey and then you just can outdo athletes because it's not going to happen. Like that. Where do you think? I mean, Bernard's even said, you know, he's even admitted he's not the guy he was when he was 38, 20. Where's Roy Jones at compared to when, you know, he was a staple star of boxing? Well, this is how you have to look at that. He said he ain't the guy he was when he was 28, right? And I was way better than him when he was 28. So I can't be too much less than what he is now. As a matter of fact, I got to be better than what he is now if I apply myself. I just got to apply myself, which I'm back to apply myself now because now there are things that are starting to excite me. Man. And Anderson Silva says he wants to fight me in a boxing match. That excites me. That's what I have to have. I'm an excitement freak. I got to have some excitement. I ain't going to do that. He's talking a lot about Anderson Silva. Any other guy in front of you is trying to knock your head off. Any uh, any thoughts of an over oversight of Bobby Gunn? Never, never, ever, ever. I know exactly what Bobby Gunn is. You know, this time, my first time I had to fight Bobby Gunn, I had a chance before that I was thinking about fighting Bobby Gunn, so I know exactly what Bobby Gunn is, and I know that Bobby Gunn's a hard nosed, hard punching, hard coming guy. So I'm ready for whatever. Yeah. Is, is this the reason you're um, still fighting? The, the answer to the silver fight? Only reason. So, you know, if, if the silver fight wasn't on the table, would you be taking this one? I doubt it. No. Okay. Um, when you, when you read, I, I know you mentioned the press conference, but when you read, you know, why is Roy still fighting gang or he shouldn't be fighting anymore, what goes through your mind when you hear and read that? You I don't read it, but like I said, if those people knew so much, they would have told me when I was five that, hey, you're going to be a great champion, start boxing. They didn't tell me that because they didn't know. So they knew so much, they could have told me something back then. You couldn't tell me back then, why should I listen to you now? <laughs> Uh, get a chance. I want you to introduce you to these police officers. Okay. Oh. Okay. Anything else? Uh, 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 yes. It's 1993. Did you still think you'd be fighting in 2013? No, I didn't. <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs>